Hey there! I hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to make a cool animated card using HTML and CSS. When you hover over it, it's going to do a neat animation. Let's get started. First, we need a div with the class name cards. Inside that, add another div with the class name card. This is going to be our main card. Now, let's add the main image. Use an img tag with the class name card front image and another class card image. Set the image source path in the src attribute. Next, create one more div with the class name card faders. Inside this div, add eight images. These images will animate when you hover over the card and appear from the left and right. Copy the same img tag and paste it here. One important thing, remove the card front image class from this new set of images. Instead, give them a new class, card fader. Duplicate it seven times. Now, let's check the output and open it with the live server. That's it for the HTML code. Now, let's move on to the CSS code. In the CSS file, let's start by setting the padding and margin to zero. This gets rid of any extra space. Then, target the body and change the background color of the page. Now, select the cards class and set the position absolute, top and left 50%. Transform translate minus 50%. This will center our card. Moving on to the card class, set the background size to cover and position it in the center. Set the position to relative, make the cursor a pointer, and remove the outline. That's it. Now, let's work on the front image. Find it using the class card front image, and make its position relative. Also, set its z-index to 2. Now, for the card image, Copy this card image class and paste it here. Give it a width of 300px and rounded corners with a border radius of 10px. At this point, all the images are visible, but we want to put them behind the front image. To do that, target the card faders class. Set its height and width to 100%, position it absolutely at the top left, 0, 0, and give it a z index of 1. Also, set the opacity to zero to hide it. Now, if you've noticed a lot of extra space when scrolling down, let's fix that. For the card fader class, which we apply to the images behind the scenes, set its position to absolute and left and top to zero. This should tidy things up. Now, let's add some animation. We'll use a keyframes rule like a set of instructions. Call it fade left. It starts from one point and ends at another. At the start, from set the scale to one, don't move it, translate 0% and make it fully visible, opacity one. Now, copy this and paste it below. Change the scale to 0.8, move it a bit to the left, translate minus 30% and make it disappear, opacity zero. Next, let's duplicate this animation and give it a new name, Fade Right. This time, just tweak the translate value to 30%. And there you have it, some cool animations ready to roll. Now, it's time to make the animations happen. I want to pick odd images from the card fader, so I'm selecting them using nth child in the parentheses, and I'll type odd. Now, apply the animation. The animation's name is Fade Left, and it should last for 3 seconds, moving smoothly, linear, and keep animating forever. Now, let's do the same thing for even images. Change Odd to Even. And for these images, use the Fade Right animation. That's it. Now, Odd and Even images will each have their own cool animations. Our animation isn't working yet, 
but let's fix that. Add a hover effect to both the card class and card faders. When someone hovers over card faders, make the opacity 1. This means that when you hover over the card, the images will appear. Great, it's working. Now, let's add something more. When you click on a card, something interesting should happen. Apply that active state to a card and scale it down to 0.98. This means that when you click on a card, it will slightly shrink in size. Right now, only two images are appearing. Essentially, four images are showing on the left and four on the right simultaneously, which is why you can't see them all. Let's take care of that. All right, now we want to adjust the animation timing. For the card fader, in the parentheses, use nth child and specify 3 and 4. The delay for the animation of the third and fourth images will be 750 milliseconds. Now, duplicate this code for the fifth and sixth images, and this time set the delay to 1500 milliseconds. Repeat this for the seventh and eighth images, but now the delay is 2250 milliseconds. When I hover the card animation starts, but the thing is animation is not working properly, I think I have missed something. Let's find out, in keyframes yeah, for the end of the animation opacity should be zero. And do the same for fade right animation. I've noticed that when I hover over the card, the animation starts and stops abruptly. Let's make it smoother. Look for card in your code and add a property called transition with a value of scale 100 milliseconds. Now, find card faders, move down and add transition property, opacity with the value 1500 milliseconds. Everything should be perfect now. If you want to learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, the video links are available in the description. If you're a complete beginner and have no idea where to start your web development journey, you can watch this video. See you in the next one.